Today, we have a special reading guest, my friend Monica. She's going to tell us a very silly story about a sandwich on the first day of class. Let's read. Hi everyone, I'm Monica. This is my book, Mr. S. I wrote the words and I drew the pictures. Come read it with me. Mr. S, written and illustrated by Monica Arnaldo. The kids in room 2B could tell something was wrong. Even though it was their very first time at school, they had the sense that something was missing. Where's the teacher? Someone whispered. Shouldn't they be here by now? Asked someone else. The children looked at each other and then back toward the front of the class. Where there should have been a teacher, there was only a stack of papers, a mug of coffee, and an impressive looking sandwich. Oh, that kind of looks like this sandwich right here. I wonder what that's about. No teacher means no rules, cheered half the class. Absolutely not, scolded the other half. But before they could argue any further, a loud thwack came from the front of the room as a ruler clattered to the ground. Who did that? The kids whispered, eyeing the teacher's desk nervously. But there was only the sandwich. The clock ticked and the mug steamed, but the sandwich lay remarkably still. You don't think said one half of the class. Don't be ridiculous, said the other. Look, called a kid from the back of the room, pointing to the chalkboard. There, written in perfectly neat handwriting, was a name, Mr. S. As one, the children murmured, Mr. Sandwich. That settled it. Everyone got straight to work. C is for club sandwich. D is for double decker. They moved swiftly through the day's lessons. Mr. S was tough but fair. It says over here, I will not throw food. The kids all loved art class. Look over here. Story time ran a bit long. Next page, please. Music class was especially unconventional. Mary had a little ham, little ham, little ham. Mary had a little ham on some nice rye bread. As the day went on, some students began to wonder, is there something unusual about Mr. S? We've never had a teacher like him. We've never had a teacher at all. The children argued quietly and then not so quietly. A sandwich can't be a teacher. Why not? Yeah, there's all sorts of teachers. Piano teachers, salsa teachers, Computer teachers. Suddenly, the door burst open. Slam! The children in room 2B were perfectly silent as a very wet man made his way to the front of the class. Children, said the man, whose jacket was smoking as though it had recently been on fire. I'm so sorry I'm late. The kids blinked at one another. I've had an unusual morning, he continued, so I'm afraid we didn't have time for a proper introduction. The wet and smoky man picked up a piece of chalk and began to write on the board. The children's eyes darted back and forth between the two figures at the front of the class. I'm Mr. Spencer, your principal. And I see you've already met your teacher, Mr. S. Keep up the great work, everyone. I can tell this is a special group. Looking around the room, the children had to agree. We never doubted you, Mr. Sandwich, said half the class. Well, maybe just for a minute, said the other half. Mr. S was as composed as ever. That's quite all right, children. But actually, my name isn't Mr. Sandwich. The S stands for... Huh, that's the end. It doesn't say. Must be a mustard-covered mystery. What do you think it stands for? <laughs>